Hello my dear students, welcome to the third module of our revision. In this module we are going to deal with finite and non-finite verbs. In this module we will revise finite and non-finite verbs. You will be able to identify finite and non-finite verbs. Uh, and also you will be able to construct sentences using finite and non-finite verbs. Now let's see what is a finite word, what is a non-finite verb. The finite verb, it always acts as, an act, acts as a verb, means it indicates an action. For example, they got home very late. Got home means they reached very, they reached home very late. Reached is an, uh, is an action. So it always indicates an action. It, it acts as a verb itself and acts as the main verb of the sentence or a clause. Uh, a finite verb is always the main verb of the sentence. It indicates person, number and tense, which means that finite verbs changes according to the subject, according to the number of people or according to the number of subject and according to the time of the action. See, here it is. She was waiting in the room before he came in. Was waiting and came is the finite verb here. See, she is one person. So it is was waiting. If instead of she it is they here, this was will become where. So see, it is changing. And also it was past, past continuous. She was doing that before, a time before. But if she, if she is doing it at this time, present, it, this was will become is. So that is how it changes. The finite verb changes according to all these things. Now used in present and past tense. Almost all the finite verbs are always in present or past tense. You promised me past tense. Okay. Can appear in dependent clauses as well as independent ones. It can be there in main clause as well as the dependent clause. See here there are two clauses. Uh, one, is, um, one is the independent clause and the other one is uh, the dependent clause. Both have got a finite verb. So, finite verbs can be there in both uh, dependent clause and independent clause. Here also an example is given. Now, next is non-finite verbs. Non-finite verb does not indicate an action. See, sailing is my favorite sport. Here the main verb is is. But sailing is uh, used here as a noun. Uh, to say the name of a sport, sailing. So it is not a verb here. It is the name of a sport. Uh, uh, it, it, the sailing is used as the name of a sport. So it is a noun here. So it, is, it does not act as a verb. It is not an action here. Now, act as nouns, adjectives and adverbs. See, uh, it has got... These verbs, non-finite verbs, has got another functions too. That is, it, it might be sometimes used as a noun. See, here we used it as a noun. Now, we can use it as adjective and adverbs. Here, in this uh, sentence, it is used as an adjective. Because adjective is something that describes a noun. Here, cat is the noun. So, what kind of cat? It is used to describe the cat. Sleeping cat. So here it is an adjective, something that describes the noun. So here also it is not used as a verb. Do not indicate person, number or tense. It is the same thing which we said. It does not change. Non-finite verbs will not change according to the person, according to the number of the person, according to the time and all. It will be the same. She tiptoed around the house so as not to wake anyone. Uh, okay, if she, if here it was, it's a past tense here, even if we say that in present tense, she tiptoes round the house so as not to wake anyone. The, this tense will not change, even if the tense, the main verb changes, even if uh, this subject changes, this part, this part, this verb remains the same. It does not change. Our infinitives, infinitive gerunds and participles. There are three types of non-finite verbs, infinitives, gerunds and participles. We will learn that in next class. Appear in infinitival clause, participial clause and gerund, particular, gerund particular clause. 
so these also we'll learn in the next class when we are further dividing when when we further uh, learn the divisions of non finite verbs now you have to do this exercise complete the words well, blanks using finite verbs and non finite verbs these also these are also exercises with finite and non finite So that's all for today. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.